Well, hello everyone, I'm Maria Yifrasinina, I'm the Ukrainian journalist and I'm now standing in uh, Vilnius, Lithuania, actually in the YouTube studio, which is streaming from the public forum of NATO. And uh, I'm very, very happy and honored to welcome here in the studio the Prime Minister of Latvia, Mr. Kristianis Karinsh. Perfect. Am I right? Perfect. Perfect, it's very good. And uh, let me start uh, with a thank you from all the Ukrainian people to you in your um, help uh, and support to Ukrainians. And uh, you know that the whole people of our country is uh, keeping eyes now on what's going on here in Vilnius. And um, could you please, I, I know that we have only a couple of minutes, could you please tell me all your personal expectations from this from this forum for Ukraine within NATO it's it's no secret there are uh, various approaches in in thinking about uh, about Ukraine and NATO uh, good news is uh, in terms of support for Ukraine with weapons ammunition money humanitarian aid etc uh, there is complete universality everyone is fully committed and will continue to to support Ukraine as long as it takes. There's, there's no question about that. This is actually very, very good news. Uh, that is, uh, the longer the war goes on, the more committed everyone is uh, to uh, helping Ukraine. So it does not become weaker, it actually becomes uh, stronger. So the will uh, in, uh, among uh, NATO members is very clear. Then is the question of uh, when and how uh, does uh, Ukraine become a member of NATO? Mm -hmm. And there are countries such as mine that, that thinks it's, it's, it's very simple and obvious. Uh, uh, Ukraine uh, uh, must become uh, part of NATO in order for there to be peace, not only in Ukraine, but in Europe, because uh, uh, fighting a war costs lives, it costs damage, it, 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 it costs uh, money, uh, uh, and uh, uh, supporting a peace is completely different. And NATO is the only uh, uh, credible guarantor of peace in Europe, and Russia knows this. Uh, so the only question is what kind of decision we will have, what the actual wording will be. The sentiment is actually quite universal. Of course, it was said uh, many years ago that Ukraine must be or should be uh, mm -hmm. in NATO, but now it's coming down to, okay, now, how do we actually move in that direction? We've been saying it for many years, but how do we actually uh, move in that direction? So um, there will be uh, uh, still uh, some discussions about that. But to me, it's 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 almost I could say it's not almost it is actually. Yeah, black I heard white. your position on the panel. It's uh, one of the most exact and uh, mm very straight and actually what is Latvia showing us is that since the beginning of war your country has spent 1.3 percent of uh, ITS GDP to help Ukraine how how can we persuade for example all the European countries to to make such a great support to us you did it you managed we're still doing it and what the interesting thing uh, is in our country uh, when the government, uh, and almost every week in government, we're making new decisions on what kind of aid is going to Ukraine. It comes from the military, it comes from the health uh, ministry, it comes from the interior ministry, after the uh, exploding of the dam, then there were generators, and, and our services are in contact with your services. What do you need? What do we have? What can we get? But civil society in Latvia is doing the same. And as the government is making decisions, I'm looking, we have all the time convoys of lorries going to Ukraine with everything under the sun. The civilians are not sending weapons. Yeah. That's what the government yeah. is doing. But the civilians are doing everything else. So our society is fully mobilized mm -hmm. uh, in this support because in Latvia, we understand that Ukraine is fighting our war. It is it could have been us, but if it would have been us, the outcome would be very different. You're a large country. The, all the three Baltic countries were small geographically. We don't have uh, as many people. And we understand this wholly. So our support for you is it's it's coming from the yeah. inside. It's completely sincere. And when I speak, and also here at the summit with, with my friends and colleagues, uh, the, the heads of, of, of other uh, governments around the, the NATO community, uh, I am 
uh, and have been uh, uh, all the time conveying the message, Russia is the threat. The Ukrainians are right now taking the brunt of, uh, of all of Russia's aggression. No one else is having to fight right now. And that it is our uh, responsibility not only to help you now win the war, but to ensure your stability and peace afterwards. And I'm saying that even if, I don't know any such government, but theoretically only thinking about yourself, well, then you, that kind of government would want Ukraine in NATO as well, because that will mean peace. And peace means growth and stability. For sure, yeah. And, and so I, I don't accept the argument that you have to be wealthy to mm -hmm. aid Ukraine. My country is not the wealthiest uh, uh, in Europe, uh, but uh, everyone is, is, is helping in their own way. People are taking Ukrainian refugees uh, into their houses. I know. Um, and the Ukrainian refugees, they're now entering our workforce and actually helping our economy of grow. Of course, we, so we can lose it, much more <laughs> if, uh, if uh, this monster wins. Yes. I have a last question because we have a YouTube audience. I know that for the last couple of days you're combining two positions, like Prime <laughs> Minister and the Minister on Defense. Yes. Do you sleep? How do you feel yourself? And <laughs> how long will it take in no, your life? <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's just for a few weeks. Uh, um, our, our foreign minister became our president. Uh -huh. So the post is vacant. I need to propose a candidate for parliament to vote. I'm uh, uh, looking at maybe making a few other changes in government. I don't want to have two or three votes. I want to have one vote. So for the next few weeks, uh, I'll be the uh, foreign minister. <laughs> but uh, I'm still getting some sleep. And uh, I, I have, I'm fortunate as the foreign minister, we have an excellent uh, ministry and excellent ambassadors all over the world. Uh, so uh, things are, are moving along. I could say as, as the head of the government, that's part of the machine which is actually oiled quite well. Thank you so much, Prime Minister. Thank you for finding time for Thank us. You. Thank you. See you later.